This video brought to you by Loot Crate. Go to trylootcrate.com slash halocanon and use promo code BRIDGE10 to save 10% on a new subscription. Stick around to the end for more details. Hey there, Canaanites. Welcome back. Today we are obviously doing the next Le uh, Halo Legendary Crate. Mine came a bit late this month, but you know what? We're going to do it anyway because why the fuck not? I need the ad revenue. <laughs> so let's begin. Um, just to note, I have not really seen much of what's inside there. I've been trying to keep spoiler free, like more so than usual. So it's going to be a bit more of a surprise than normal. But let's see. So let's get the intel there first. But let's take a look at this box art which I cannot tell what the hell that is. It's, uh... Oh no, you know what? That's a profit. What am I saying? There it is. Yeah. I don't know if that's a established profit or not, but that is a profit. See the face down here, I just noticed. So this is like the hat and the thing. But anyway, let's get this uh, restabilized and... So, obviously we start off with the intel. Alright, so first, this is a very nice uh, image of high charity over Halo around substance from Halo, uh, from around the events of Halo 2, obviously. Very much, probably right about the time that uh, uh, Regret was killed, since high charity looks to be in pretty good condition at this point. Okay, so this, this intel is is very interesting, and I will let you know right now that this has pe um this has potential spoilers for uh, Halo Envoy. Nothing like I mean it's richer if you know what happens in Envoy at this point, but you know, like it basically it mentions a particular character in Envoy. So if you don't want to hear about that, I will leave a um, I will leave a timestamp at the top on, the, on screen now and uh, link and in the description box for you to skip to if you want to skip over this stuff. But, uh, you know, so five, four, three, two, one, we're doing spoilers. So hopefully you skip forward if you didn't want to hear this. So this is talking about a mission to the Ark. Probably it's either got to be late 2557 or early to mid 2558, basically before Halo Wars 2. So... Apollo went to High Charity. They found this ship called Twilight Compunction, which was a, uh, or more accurately, they found the T-31 record module from Twilight Compunction, which uh, was a warship that fought against the elites. So it was a brute warship. And it had a whole bunch of records, you know, like a bunch of chieftain names, pack, packs and whatnot. The most interesting one they found, though, was Hikabe of Maradoth. Uh... And he is a major character in Halo Envoy. So it talks about how uh, he has his cruiser gathering of praise, since renamed Phobane, which you've, which is featured in in Envoy quite prominently. Um, he lost a lot of people, and he found something on the Ark. Now that plays big into on into Envoy, but I won't say what because I you know I, I want to go. Sp I'm trying to be spoiler light. Hopefully, if you didn't want to hear about that, you you skip. So don't. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. But anyway, so this is pretty cool. It's interesting too. It actually mentions that it has a uh, visual readout. Where is it? Uh, provided a visual readout of their force allocation during High Charity's last battle. But for some reason, it's we got a picture of High Charity during. Uh, well. The force allocation during High Charity's last battle. I mean, you could consider this its last battle if you could sit um, as it was falling to the flood, I guess. This is kind of interesting. Anyway, so that's the intel. Let's move on. So, this looks pretty cool. So, nice little hat. Um, basically, like a uh, cutter's hat. Let's see how well this fits. Not that you'll get to see. I'm just curious for myself. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is the greatest hat ever. It fits my head. You don't know how, how rare that is. That I find a hat that fits my head. I love this thing. 
I am wearing this to PAX. Probably. Okay, next up is a t-shirt, which looks pretty cool. Oh, nice. As Luke would say, iconic. I can't do a very good Luke. I didn't just shift the camera, I think I did. It's kind of hard to get full shot, but great schism, got a brute, gravity hammer. It's actually kind of interesting. It's a Halo 2 brute with a, um, a Halo 5 gravity hammer, actually. So that's a very interesting combination. Then you got H2A Elite with an with a Halo 2 energy or Halo 2 multiplayer energy sword. So yeah, the Great Schism, the ultimate showdown, Brutes versus Elite. To Jiro Hanai, Sanghili, Doisak, Sanghelios. That's actually really cool. It's like a very much like uh, like classic sports bout, uh, boxing bout. That's what I'm that's what I'm trying to think of. Okay. That's a pretty cool shirt. Definitely like that, having that added to the collection. Let's see what we got here. Oh, oh, that is awesome. Oh, this is so cool. You're gonna, you're gonna love this if you haven't watched like anybody else's unboxing. Gravity Hammer uh, bottle cap opener. I'm gonna go grab a, I'm gonna go test this. Okay, let's test her out. Trying to see the best way to you guys see this. <sighs> and there is a magnet on the back to like stick it to your fridge or something. Uh, I did test it out when I was off screen just a moment ago. It it kept sliding down the fridge, like not speedy, but you know it it did. So it works at the very least. All right, moving on. Poster, of course. Come on. Oh man, it's bent. That's genuinely disappointing. But it is an otherwise beautiful poster. Let me lay it out there for you. I mean, you'll kind of get the sense of it in the cover, but yeah, there you go. But yeah, it's actually bent on the edges here. You can, I don't know if you can see it, but. Disappointing, to say the least. Like, Loot Crate, if you guys need a professional poster roller, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I'm drawing blanks on words, but if you need that, call me. So I can, I can roll posters. Uh, pen, of course. Nothing special about it, but yeah. And of course, last but not least, the Arbiter figure. So there's the Arbiter with his gaping maw. Nice, very nice energy sword though. Gotta say, I'd admit that. Um, so we got the clear guy, because he's supposed to be like jumping through the air. And that goes like something. That's kind of cool. This one can actually cut. This one can actually swivel. Yeah, there's that. You know, the brute honor guard uh, helmet down here, which I didn't see in it. I didn't notice in uh, any of the preliminary pictures, but there it is. So yeah. Oh, <laughs> he is not meant to be moved that way. Pretty cool little figure. The ball's a little scary, but. You know, that's what you get when you get classic style. You know, New Elite would probably look better. I'm talking to you, Luke. And there you go. Got them all assembled so far. One more to go. But yeah, looks pretty cool so far. And so there you have it. The latest Halo Legendary Crate. Shirt, pin, bottle opener, figure, intel, and hat. Posters inside the box that's under everything, but yeah. Overall, in my opinion, still wor st this has still been worth the price, <laughs> but you know, that's, that's my opinion. So think that however you will, the very least, this thing is just, I just, this is just brilliant. This is, I love, I love this so much. This is so damn cool. So what did you guys think of the crate? Uh, those of you who have it, those of you who don't, what do you think so far? What do you think of this? All that, all that fun jazz. Let me know in the comments below. 
And until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. I bid you adieu. Oh, Pulsar's actually right here. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to give a like and consider subscribing and sharing this video around. Also consider subscribing to Loot Crate. By going to trylootcrate.com slash halocanon and using promo code BRIDGE10, you can save 10% on a new subscription to the base Loot Crate offering. Loot Crate is a monthly subscription box service for epic geek and gamer items and pop culture gear.